Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on all the class roles in Dragon Nest C, and I will give my recommendation for each role. Now, without further ado, let's start. In the usual MMORPG games, DPS, Tank, and Healer have been the traditional standard for character roles. However, in Dragon Nest, the player community redefined these conventional roles. Instead of the usual DPS, Tank, and Healer roles, Players in Dragon Nest have organically embraced a different set of roles, which include DPS, Ice Stacker, and Healer. I will discuss all roles, including DPS, Ice Stacker, and Healer, and then provide class specialization recommendations based on the evolving dynamics within Dragon Nest. Now, let's start with the DPS role. DPS, short for Damage Per Second, remains a fundamental and pivotal role in Dragon Nest, much like it does in most MMORPGs. Players who undertake the DPS role are charged with the primary responsibility of inflicting damage upon enemies swiftly and efficiently, making them a vital asset in any raid party. To delve deeper into the intricacies of the DPS role, it's important to understand that DPS characters are the primary source of offensive power within a party. They excel at delivering consistent and high amounts of damage to opponents, making them instrumental in defeating monsters and bosses. Moreover, the DPS role typically comprises various subclasses or specializations that cater to different playstyles. For instance, some DPS classes might focus on ranged attacks, staying at a safe distance from adversaries, while others may specialize in close combat, diving into the heart of the battle. Each subclass offers a unique blend of skills, allowing players to adapt their DPS style to the specific challenges they face. Furthermore, the success of a DPS character is heavily reliant on factors such as skill rotations, timing, and knowledge of enemy patterns. Effective DPS players master these aspects, optimizing their damage potential and contributing significantly to their party's success. In summary, the DPS role in Dragon Nest is central to any raid party's success, as it focuses on dealing with damage swiftly and efficiently. DPS characters wield a variety of weapons and abilities, and their effectiveness depends on factors like specialization, skill mastery, and adaptability to different combat situations. Understanding and mastering the DPS role is essential for those seeking to excel in Dragon Nest. Now, let's move on to the second role which is the Ice Stacker. The emergence of the Ice Stacker role in Dragon Nest showcases the game's dynamic nature. It has developed as a response to the increasing challenges in the game. Unlike traditional tanking roles that absorb damage, Ice Stackers focus on crowd control and debuffing. In essence, Ice Stackers aim to control the battlefield to their advantage. They achieve this by applying Ice debuffs to enemies, which can slow them down, weaken their attacks, or make them more vulnerable to further damage. This strategic role is especially crucial when facing tough opponents and bosses. Ice Stackers come equipped with specialized skills for freezing, slowing, or impairing foes. These abilities require precise timing and teamwork to be effective. Players who take on the Ice Stacker role must understand enemy and boss pattern and coordinate well with their team. In summary, Ice Stackers in Dragon Nest adapt to the game's challenges by focusing on crowd control and debuffing, rather than traditional tanking. They play a vital role in managing tough encounters, adding depth and strategy to the gameplay. Now, you may ask, why tank role is not much needed in Dragon Nest? Well, because the tank role has diminished in importance due to increasingly challenging in-game content, as parties now prioritize higher damage output, and once players have mastered boss mechanics in raids, aggro and shielding become less critical. Now, let's move on to the last role which is the healer role. Healers are essential to Dragon Nest, just like in many other MMORPGs. Their role is crucial because they are responsible for keeping the team in good health, ensuring everyone stays alive and well, especially during the most intense battles. It's important to know that healers have unique skills for healing. They need to be quick and smart when not to and when to use these skills. Healers must also comprehend skill rotations, timing, and have knowledge of enemy patterns. This understanding enables them to use their healing abilities effectively and precisely, ensuring the team's survival in challenging battles. Players who take on the healer role must understand when the team needs healing the most, and work together with their team. To sum it up, Healers are like the doctors of Dragon Nest. Healers are most valuable when the team is in trouble and needs help to stay in the fight. So, in Dragon Nest, just like in other games, healers play a crucial role in keeping everyone alive and well. Now that you know the three main roles in Dragon Nest, you might be asking, which role should I choose? For new players in Dragon Nest, I highly recommend selecting either a DPS role class or an Ice Stacker role. 
The Ice Stacker role is particularly appealing for beginners because it combines both DPS and debuffing capabilities through its ice stacking abilities. To break it down further, if you're new to the game, starting as a DPS character is a solid choice. DPS characters are relatively straightforward to play, focusing on dealing damage quickly. This can be a great way to get accustomed to the game's mechanics and dynamics. On the other hand, if you're looking for a bit more versatility and a role that allows you to contribute damage and debuff enemies, then the Ice Stacker role is a promising option. Ice Stackers bring a unique combination of freezing foes and dealing damage, which can be particularly effective in various situations. Choosing between DPS and Ice Stacker roles ultimately depends on your playstyle and what you find most enjoyable. Experimenting with both can help you discover which role suits you best as you embark on your journey in Dragon Nest. As for the healer role, I recommend committing to it, only if you already have a solid understanding of the game, especially regarding stage or boss stage mechanics and patterns. Healers are vital for keeping the team alive. Still, their effectiveness is maximized when they can anticipate when and how to heal based on their knowledge of the game's challenges. So, suppose you feel confident in your understanding of the game's intricacies. In that case, diving into the healer role can be a rewarding experience, knowing that you can provide crucial support to your team. However, for newcomers, starting with DPS or the versatile Ice Stacker role might offer a smoother introduction to the game. Okay, let's now talk about what class specialization is the best for each role. Important note, I'm no master for all class specializations, and the recommendations I will give are based on my personal experience, so don't take everything at face value, so take everything with the grain of salt. For the DPS, I will rank them based on their ease of use, in terms of skill rotation and gear attainment supply, and, of course, damage. Let's start with the Warrior class. Based on my criteria, I will rank Moonlord as my top pick, followed by Barbarian, Mystic Knight, Gladiator, Dark Avenger, Grand Master, and last is Destroyer. For the Archer class, my top pick would be Artillery, then followed by Sniper, Tempest, Windwalker, and last is Silver Hunter. For the Sorceress class, my top pick would be Elestra, then followed by Black Mara, Smasher, Saliana, and last is Majesty. For the Cleric class, my top pick would be Inquisitor, then followed by Crusader, Arch Heretic, Saint, and last is Guardian. For the Academic class, my top pick would be Shooting Star, then followed by Adept, Gear Master, Ray Mechanic, and last is Physician. For the Kali class, my top pick would be Blade Dancer, then followed by Oracle Elder, Spirit Dancer, Dark Summoner, and last is Soul Eater. For the Assassin class, my top pick would be Ripper, then followed by Bleed Phantom, Raven, Abyss Walker, and last is Light Fury. For the Lancia class, my top pick would be Avalanche, then followed by Flurry, Vena Plaga, Rangrid, and last is Stingbreezer. For the Machina class, my top pick would be Ruina, then followed by Impactor, Defensio, and last is Luster. And last is for the Vander class, my top pick would be Duelist, then followed by Trickster. And since the Vander new specialization tree is coming soon, I would say Duelist and Trickster will remain a compelling choice for the DPS role using Vander. But we'll see if that will be the same once the new Vander class is released. Now, let's move on to the Ice Stacker role class recommendations. Right now in the game, there are two classes which are considered to be called Ice Stacker, Elestra for the Sorceress class and Avalanche for the Lancia class. I would say you could never go wrong if you were gonna pick between these two Ice Stacker classes. In my opinion, Avalanche dishes out more damage than Elestra, but when it comes to more ice stacking utilities with a good DPS capability, Elestra is the top choice. Next are the healer role class recommendations. There are only three compelling choices of specialization when it comes to picking the healer role. My top choice would be Saint, especially for an 8-man raid party. Not only that he can provide heals, he can also provide damage mitigation and armor using his ultimate, and he can also provide immortality using his immortality skill to prevent fatal attacks that can kill a party member. Next on the list is Physician. Although physicians also specialize in healing, what she truly shines in is her abundant ability to debuff enemies and buff allies. And last on the list is Light Fury. We can say that Light Fury is a hybrid of a healer, debuffer, and a sub-DPS. Although Light Fury can also heal, he truly shines on more like a sub-DPS healer. To sum it up simply, when you're playing Dragon Nest, choose your role based on what suits your style. If you want to deal damage, go for DPS or Ice Stacker. If you like helping the team stay alive, be a healer. Just remember, enjoy the game and have fun on your adventures in Dragon Nest. Before you go, 
Please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.